it is one of the most romantic stories in the history of mathematics. In 1913, the English mathematician G. H. Hardy received a strange letter from an unknown clerk in Madras, India. The 10-page letter contained about 120 statements or theorems on infinite series, improper integrals, continued fractions and number theory. Every prominent mathematician gets letter from Cranks and at the first glance Hardy no doubt put this letter in that class. But sometimes about the formulas made him take a second look and show it to his collaborator J. E. Littlewood. After a few hours they concluded that the results must be true because if they were not true, no one would have had the imagination to invent them. Thus was Srinivasa Ramanujan introduced to the mathematical world. He was born in Irde, Tamil Nadu, best known for handlooms and temples. Ramanujan first encountered formal mathematics at the age of 10. He demonstrated natural ability and was given books on advanced trigonometry written by S. L. Lone. He had mastered them by the age of 12 and even discovered theorems of his own. He demonstrated unusual mathematical skills at school, winning accolades and awards. By 17, Ramanujan conducted his own mathematical research on Bernoulli's number and euler mascheroni constant. He received a scholarship to study at government college in Kumbakonam, but lost it when he failed his non-mathematical coursework. He joined another college to pursue independent mathematical research working as a clerk in the Accounts General's office at the Madras Port Trust to support himself. In 1912 to 1913, he sent samples of his theorems to three academics at the University of Cambridge. G. H. Hardy recognized the brilliance of his work, subsequently inviting Ramanujan to visit and work with him at Cambridge. He became a fellow of Royal Society and a fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Ramanujan introduced himself and his work by saying, I have had no university education but I have undergone the ordinary school course. After leaving school, I have been employing the spare time at my disposal to work at mathematics. I have not trodden through the conventional regular course which is followed in the university course. But I am striking out a new path for myself. I have made special investigations to divergent series in general and the result I get are termed by the local mathematician as startling. During his short lifetime, Ramanujan independently compiled nearly 3,900 results, although a small number of these results were actually false and some were already known. But most of his claims have now been proven correct. He stated results that were both original and highly unconventional such as Ramanujan prime and the Ramanujan theta function and these have inspired a vast amount of further research. However, some of his major discoveries have been rather slow to enter the mathematical mainstream. Recently, Ramarujan's formulae have found applications in crystallography and string theory. The Ramanujan Journal, an international publication, was launched to publish work in all areas of mathematics influenced by his work. By the end of November 1918, Hardy wrote in a letter, he will return to India with a great scientific standing and reputation such as no Indian has enjoyed before. And I am confident that India will regard him as the treasure he is. 
his natural simplicity and modesty has never been affected in the least by the success. Indeed, all that is wanted is to get him to realize that he is really a success.